Okay, let's meditate for a few minutes. Anam Pavanasa Pagnan. Close your eyes and try to stay with the breath. All the way in, all the way out. As the Buddha said, there's nothing that can change its direction as quickly as the mind. Even the flash of an eye is too slow for how quickly the mind can suddenly change its opinions about everything. Which just means we have to guard against that. This is why we have to develop mindfulness, so we can remember where the, our true goal is and where our true happiness lies. So that when there's a temptation to change direction, you can remind yourself, no, that's not going in the right direction. It's going someplace else. So every time you find yourself wandering off from the breath, just bring your mind right back. Bring your mind right back. Don't get discouraged. Don't give in. You're fighting an old habit. So it's going to take, it's going to take time and it's going to take energy, but it's time well spent, energy well used. Because we want the mind to get consistently on the right path. Otherwise, it follows one path here and then jumps over to another path going someplace else and ends up going nowhere at all. Because it can't make up its mind where it wants to go. But if you decide you want to work for true happiness and you realize that training the mind is how it's done, okay, then you stick with it. You don't give up. You don't let yourself get discouraged. You don't let yourself get blocked by things. You keep trying to find a way around the mind's quickness to change. The stronger your mindfulness, the more you can stitch together the moments of the path so that they develop a momentum. So try to stay here consistently. I mean, some changes in the mind might be good. When you find that you've gone in the wrong place, you come back to the right. But once you're on the right path, you don't want to change from that path. You want to keep going in the right direction, because otherwise, where are you going to go? The mind just wanders around. The Buddhist picture of the universe is just beings just wandering around aimlessly, going up and going down, then going up again, then going down again, coming back to the same old place again and again, and suffering a lot in the process. But if we make up our mind we want to get out of that process and find a better direction, we can do that. The Buddha calls this directing yourself rightly. Otherwise, making up your mind that you really do want to find true happiness, and you follow the path. You stick with it. So develop your mindfulness to keep reminding yourself of what the direction is you want to go. And use your discernment to detect which thoughts in the mind are going in that direction which ones are not. So when you put your mindfulness together with your discernment, as they say in Thai, the, the, the Thai word for intelligence is mindfulness discernment. This is where you live your life intelligently.